Quick fire information from the Ranvi show. This is our highlights channel, TRS Clips. Subscribe and enjoy the video. Explain E equals to MC square also. So, <laughs> so E equals MC square comes from quantum theory. Okay. It's one of the most fundamental and clearly the most famous equation in all physics. It says that energy and mass are actually equivalent. We have light. Light is photons. Photons are packets of electromagnetic energy. Now, photons are massless because they travel at the speed of light, which, which is why it's light. But each photon has a certain energy, E equals h nu, where nu is the frequency, uh, which is the inverse of the wavelength, right? So, what is the wavelength? It depends on the color. Certain photons are so energetic, you can't see them. The electromagnetic, uh, sorry, the infrared light, which is not visible. X-rays are also photons. Even gamma rays are incredibly energetic photons. So, light has energy and energy has an equivalent mass and that is why photons also can be thought of as having a certain amount of mass even though they are massless so that's how it goes so that's why photons there is something called radiation pressure the solar wind is plasma but there is also radiation that comes out of it and you can use that in a technology called light sails so you take a very thin sail Hmm. A very thin sheet of metal or whatever, you shine laser pulses at it, it's just light, it's going to propel it forward. The light, the photons have momentum and momentum also can be thought of as something that comes from mass but it's actually from energy. Hmm. So in quantum physics, the E equal to mc squared relation tells you that mass and energy are equivalent. If you have m whatever it is, you can multiply it by it by the square of the speed of light and you get an equivalent energy. Hmm. Okay, fair. If you enjoyed this video, here's a playlist full of videos kind of related to the one that you just saw. Enjoy.